So as somebody in the community, I will say that somebody in what community? Uh, in the queer community, that uh, okay. your approach is a bit harsh in okay. terms of your language. Okay, so let me ask you a question because I'm here to be educated, my brother. Oh, for sure, uh, for sure. Okay, I'm here to be educated, and we're here to educate you guys as well. And of course, we all coming in the spirit of, of respect. Now, when I ask people if they are lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, gendered, or heterosexual, I'm asking that so I can understand their personal frame of reference. So, for example, last night's conversation was about light skin supremacy and dark skin supremacy in the black community. So everyone who came on, I asked them, are you light skin, brown skin, dark skin, or mixed race? So I need you to explain to me, my brother, when I ask you, are you homosexual, bisexual, trans woman, or heterosexual, why is that considered harsh? Because that language is, is for you. I said I'm in the queer community, so that Okay, is so, that. so how does... And again, I want you to educate me. You're in the queer community. How does queer differ from homosexual, bisexual, trans woman? Queer means what? Educate me. Just in the community. I mean, you will really have to sit down and, and you ain't you're trying to talk political. So I'm trying to talk politics, too. OK, I'm just well, well, tell me what it means to you to be queer, because because when you say you're queer, you're saying that you're not. Are you saying that you are or you are not? homosexual, bisexual, or trans woman? This, when you say I am not straight. Okay, you're <laughs> not, not straight. straight. Stay with me. Okay, because yes. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Yes. You're yes. not... Stay with me. I am. Okay, you're not straight. I got that part. You're not homosexual either. Is that correct? Yeah, see, that's where it's funny because I'm sure when you say homosexual, you're talking about two cis men, right? Two, two. two gay men. No, 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 no. When I say homosexual, for me, a man having romantic interactions with another man right, is right. homosexuality. No. So do no. you so you do not yes. you do not have relations with other men? No, I, no, I don't. <laughs> OK, so you're not homosexual. So which automatically means you can't be bisexual. Right. Because if you don't have uh, relations with men. You're not bisexual either. You're not a trans woman. So help quit. Help me out, my brother. You see me trying to get some clarity from you. What does queer mean? Know. That means your sex is what? What do you do? What is queer? We trying to learn from y'all now. Y'all can't call. Y'all can't get upset at us. And we trying to understand you. What is queer? Yeah, so you're trying to understand, right? Queer, understand yes. What, what does queer? You said you're queer. Right. What does... You trying to understand what I do in the bedroom or what my political ideology is? Both. What does queer mean? It's pretty bold to ask something like that, seeing as how the only thing on most straight black men's resume is audacity. Y'all are literally the least qualified out of anybody in this country to lead somebody, but y'all always want to be in the front. But you know what? It's a special place in hell for a bitch like you that causes division amongst the entire community of people. Out of every subsection of the black community, y'all are the least educated and the most incarcerated. Please tell me what qualifies you besides the dick between your legs to lead somebody into anything. Y'all always want people to breathe life into y'all. But at this point, it's just pure necromancy because we have no more life to give. Y'all suck the life out of every fucking thing. I mean, let's call the thing a thing. Y'all want to be white men so fucking bad. Y'all see white men at the heads of their household and y'all can't even get a household to be the head of. Asking women questions like what do they bring to the table when you don't even own your table, you rent it. Hell, that's even if you do rent it because it's probably in your mama name. I mean, if we could call the thing a thing, y'all are the common denominator out of every issue that we have in the black community. Y'all are literally the root cause. You blame black women for fatherless behavior, but then fail to realize that the father is the person that you're not blaming. Y'all blame men for being gay and say, yo, you grew up without a father. Do you see how you just pointed back to the issue? Y'all blame women for having too many kids as if they made them kids by themselves. You keep pointing back to the issue. Y'all be wanting people to hold y'all down, but at the same time, if they too good at it, then they too independent. Then you want to say, oh, yeah, like you don't need me. They kind of don't. Maybe what y'all should start considering is that maybe our community is meant to be matriarchal. But y'all just can't accept it because it doesn't fit into what the white man has told you to believe. You're trying to do everything that the white man does, but you're just trying to do it in black. It's literally the same shit. 
I mean, y'all are the most homophobic, the most misogynistic, the most transphobic, the most colorist, the most texturist, like the most xenophobic. And you are the most likely to date outside of your race. Y'all are a walking contradiction and a walking joke. And it's not funny. I always want to talk about breaking generational curses and building generational wealth. But you don't even have life insurance. Anytime you die, we got to do a damn go fund me. Y'all can't even die right. Y'all been trying to stick this square peg in a round hole for centuries and it just doesn't work because you're not meant to be the head of the household you were never meant to be that's why the shit doesn't work what exactly do y'all stand for what are your goals and objectives now mr umar dr umar no he should be ashamed of himself for that video he has a video on his channel it's about 30 minutes long this is the the cover the thumbnail for that video and so I don't really know exactly what all he was trying to address with that. It, it looks as if he cut a part of it out and just put 30 minutes of it up on his channel. So I don't really know what the full conversation, you know, why he was having the conversation. But um, it was disappointing to hear him talk to people in such a condescending way. You know, he was talking to the, the gay people that he uh, was having these conversations with as if they land you know, from Jupiter every, every, every day, right? And then get back on a ship and go back to Jupiter. Like he's, you know, has never been around a gay person before. And I don't know how old he is, but he's somewhere, he's old enough to where somebody, he should have had some of these conversations by now, right? Um, and it's also uh, concerning, considering he's an educator and he's talking about opening, opening a school. So what, how are you going to handle your LGBT staff, or you are not going to allow them to say openly who they are? How are you going to handle students and the parents? Because they're probably going to be, some of them are going to be of the LGBT uh, community as well. And well, after seeing that video, they probably won't. But um, yeah, it's it was just interesting to watch him do that. I don't I don't know what he see when he plays that back, you know? And so I guess that is that part as well. But he wasn't, um, Casanova Brown, he wasn't just reading Dr. Umar, but he was reading. <laughs> Baby, he is reading down over there on, on TikTok. He was not playing that day. But, uh, and I agree with him. You know, at some point, people just get tired. I think I just said this in my other video. You just get tired of hearing all this nonsense all the time. And I, they're not fooling anyone. I hope they don't think that anybody out of, outside of our community is fooled by them. Right. I mean, our community, everyone knows that we're the community in this country that has the least. Yet we are not working on that. We're working on everything but that and cre creating drama where there really should be none. Like if you're claiming you're for our community, then you have to be for all of our community. That's the light skinned people. That's the dark skinned people. That's the gay people, the men, the women. Right. You can't say you're for us. But everything you do is against us, right? Everything you have a problem with is us, <laughs> you know? And, and you just get tired of sitting and, and watching all these people on YouTube and all these other platforms with all this nonsense all the time. And in particular, black men, that's normally who it is, unfortunately. You know, and even like I was saying, but you know what? There was really clowning Dr. Umar in, the, in, his, in those comments under that video as well. He never takes the comments. <laughs> you know, he doesn't delete the comments or what have you. But they, they were telling him, instead of you worried about the LGBT, you need to be worried about the HVAC. <laughs> the HVAC, <laughs> right? Because, you know, he's still saying that the, he's having issues with the air conditioning at the school. That's why the school is still not open. Um you know, I don't even know if this is a, even a real story at this point. I, I doubt highly that the school is even real. Like, he probably drives up to a school that's closed and, and start filming like he really, you know, I don't know. I don't have, I don't have the ability, the resources to go look at to see if he really owns school. I don't know if he owns the school or not, but so allegedly, I'm just joking around. Um, but yeah, I mean, how many years do it take to open a school? And like the person was saying in his comments, instead of you trying to figure out what the Q means, <laughs> what the Q means in LGBTQ, you might need to go and get that air conditioning fixed, babe. You know, 
<laughs> it, you know, it's just funny. It's like, and, it, and it's like Casanova saying, you know, it's not like black men don't have real serious issues that they need to address within themselves and stop trying to blame the black woman. Stop trying to blame the white man. Stop trying to blame everybody else but you. You know, everybody else is that problem. If it's not the black woman, if it's not the white man, the invisible white man, it's just too much, right? It's always somebody else's problem. It's all, somebody else is always a problem but them. And I do agree with him on that. And you can see that. If you can't see it nowhere else, you can see it here on YouTube, right? Because that's all these black men do. Instead of them getting together and holding conversations about solutions, they're sitting out here pointing the finger about how somebody got them on child support. Well, you made the baby. You made the child. And that's kind of what happens when you make a child. You, you have to take care of it. I mean, somebody should have taught you that real early on in life, right? Um, so I don't understand how you're trying to walk around like you don't, you don't get that you're going to have to take care of a child if you make one. So that's not for people to sit on the Internet every day <laughs> with conversations and when you pick the wrong one and then you're a baby daddy yourself. So obviously some woman picked you and so she picked the wrong one too. You know, it's unnecessary conversation, right? It's unnecessary finger pointing. Um, it's not changing anything. It's not educating our children. It's not building houses and not teaching uh, generational wealth. It's not doing anything. It's not giving, you know? And so I do agree with him on that. Um, but I tell you, honey, he is over there reading down. I was just over here cracking up. I lost my voice cracking up on that one. Um, <laughs> he need to change his name to the Reed Assassin <laughs> instead of Casanova Brown. But yeah, I was disappointed to watch Dr. Umar in that video. If you guys saw it, let me know in the comments. Um, but like I said, people was getting with him even in the comments. Like, you need to just stop worrying about what the Q made and go and find the HBAC people. And that's kind of what facts, right? It's facts. Um, let me know what you guys think about what um, Casanova has to say. You know, I see this story kind of in some other places. People are saying, well, is what he's saying the truth? Yeah, it is true. Let's not be fake about that. It is true. Like, it's, it's far too many black men sitting on social media um, bitter and pointing fingers at every direction, but they're in their own direction. You know, it's a little too much of that where people are not taking full responsibility for themselves, for themselves as a community. These black men can get together and make things happen just like every other community of men get together and make things happen. You know, they just don't choose to. It's just like I said in that Mike Hill video. You know, you don't see the positive black man on TV because black men don't want to see the positive black man on TV. That's why you don't see them. OK, so we're not going to play these games out here um, with all this nonsense. You guys have are, you have the ability to get up and do the things that you want to do. You claim you're the most desired. So if you don't have it, you know how to go get these women that have it to get them to help you. Right. Since we don't since black women don't have it, go get the women that you think got it. Go get them to do whatever it is that you need to do. But um, stop complaining. Stop making up stuff. Stop acting like you don't know what a gay person is and why they're here and all this nonsense, you know, and focus on some things that really matter that are about really making changes. And like I said, I don't understand how Dr. Umar is going to open a school and think that he's not going to um, probably have an applicant who is either a gay parent or have a gay child. You know, you have to you have to be careful of the stuff that you're putting out here, right? Knowing um, such things. And even his staff, right? You're going to have somebody that's from the LGBTQIA community that's probably going to apply for a teacher's position or some form of position at your school. And so you have to watch how you're putting stuff out here. Unless the school is not real, because I'm starting to believe that it's not even real. a real situation, to be honest. But let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.